Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I want to dedicate this episode to talking about scaling. The, the reason why I want to talk about scaling right now is because we're going to be creating our 3D models or buildings for our augmented reality game in the next video. And before we get to that, I, I, want, to, I want to make sure that we all understand how scaling works in augmented reality because we, I think the worst thing that can happen, and it happened to me when I, when I was creating my other game, is that I made some of the structures way too big, I made some of the structures were way, way too small, and I didn't really use anything as a reference, I actually didn't even look at the, the documentation that Unity provides. So I wanna make sure that we, we have the core basics about you know what scaling factor we're gonna be using before we proceed in, to create the, the actual structures. So what you're seeing behind the scenes is basically an augmented reality scene that is you know found in the example that we downloaded the example that we got from from big bucket that unity provides and, and in this scene we have a very very basic cube and if you were to run this scene in your ios device you can see that this cube is actually flying on the air and you can actually go around the cube and then look at the cube closer and then you can go you can basically go back and 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 see how the cube you know, changes its size in a mental reality because of perspective. But this cube right now is, is around 30% of a meter. So anytime that we're dealing with augmented reality, we're staying with meters. So the measurement that we're gonna be using is meters. So if you think about, I always use my height as an example. So I'm about six feet tall. And then six feet tall, if you, if you convert that to meters, is about 1.8. So, so that gives me a reference on you know what I'm dealing with when when it comes to when it comes to augmented reality. So if if I'm 1.8 if I'm 1.8 and I want to make you know a one meter structure that is around you know or, or a little bit less than that half of that I know that it's going to be half my body size. So if we're creating a game where we need you know for example for this game that we're going to be doing. I want the structures to stay around my height or or a little bit less than my height. So so I'm gonna be I'm gonna make sure that whatever I'm making, I'm gonna be making about 1.5 meters tall. Of course, not everybody is you know is that tall. So you always wanna make sure that we 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 look at the population as a whole. So whatever experience that you're making, make sure that the experience work work for everybody, it doesn't just work for you. But the main thing in this video is, is so that you know that we're going to be dealing with meters. So there's a really good example that in a blog entry that Unity has that I'm going to be putting in the comments. It, it goes more in depth about you know conversion that you that you can do for objects that happen in, that basically show up in the scene. They have an example where you where you basically make a parent object, and that parent object is going to be a scale x, y, and z which is going to be one, one, and one on each, on each axis. So if you put any objects be, uh, underneath th that parent game object, basically what it allows you to do, if you have, you know, child game objects that are referencing, you know, of course, are referencing the parent, you can easily change the scaling factor on the parent game object in order to affect all the child. So that works really well uh, for certain things, but when, you, when you're creating objects that are, you know, loaded dynamically, that might not work. So I'll be posting an example in the comments so that you can see how that works. It's basically a link that go, goes back to the Unity Unity blog. And if you have any questions, if you experience any problems when you're when you're doing this, and, and we're gonna be experimenting with this anyways. So as we create our 3D models, as we test the experience in our devices, we're gonna be looking at the general you know, scaling. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna get a feeling of how things work. You don't need to get everything, you know, 100% perfect right now, because during prototyping, we're gonna be finding a lot of those issues and solving those issues later on. So, thank you again, guys. I appreciate. It. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video, and thank you again, guys.